Now step number two is going to be getting life insurance. Not just any life insurance, but term life insurance. Now there's two different types of life insurance. You have term and you have whole life. And there's a lot of different arguments out there, a lot of different persuasions about why you need this, need that. To be honest with you, only about 5%, maybe less than 5% truly need a whole life policy. But for you here in this situation, you just need to get term life. So depending on your age, talk to like a life insurance specialist for term. And because term is going to be a designated period of time, maybe you just need it for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. And truly, you only need it to cover certain emergencies in the event you should pass away and to cover those bills, whatever may be remaining, because that's truly what life insurance needs to be. It's not a get rich quick scheme. OK, it's to basically cover any bills that you have outstanding, any debt. Uh, maybe it's something to help put your children to college to cover burial fees. I get it. It's a topic nobody wants to talk about, but we need to talk about it because what is it like the majority 80 percent of americans no longer have at least a thousand dollars in the bank i think it's average about 475 to 800 depending on which statistic you look at and so if we're not saving money then how are you going to cover those expenses i've been to funerals even here recently to where that family didn't have any money and guess what that is additional stress on the family on top of what they're already having to deal with by grieving and having to deal with other situations that's going on so by having a life insurance policy in place you're going to go ahead and at least deflate any financial stress situation that's going on. So the question is, how much do you need? Well, tally up all your bills. How much do you need to pay up all your bills? Do you have a spouse? Are you married? What would it take to get her to start comfortably retiring, maybe to quit work? How much is it gonna cost you to put your kids through college if they're not in college yet? All those are gonna be things you wanna ask and talk with a licensed life insurance agent. All right, so let's go ahead and pause there and I'll see you guys in the next video.